guys, it is me, Bob the Drag Queen from RuPaul's Drag Race and currently Angels in America at the Berkeley Repertory Theater. And I am here with the executive director of uh, the Rainbow Railroad, Kamali uh, Powell. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for having me. Um, we had quite a great day today. So we went down to, um, what is it, One Infinity Loop. Which sounds like a, another world, but it's, it's uh, Apple's campus, one of Apple's campuses, and um, we talked to their uh, employees about, um, it was a, like a diversity uh, training program, and we talked to them about the work that uh, Kamali does with the Rainbow Railroad. So can you tell anyone who's listening who doesn't know what it is a little bit about Rainbow Railroad? Absolutely. So uh, Rainbow Railroad is a Toronto-based organization that does international work helping people who are facing persecution because of their sexual orientation or gender identity find safety. So we've been around since 2006 uh, and we've helped uh, nearly 500 people find safety uh, in countries that criminalize uh, LGBTQI people. So we're real thankful for the whole Apple team uh, for having us uh, at Infinity Loop uh, to talk to over 200 people about our work because that's how we can spread awareness about the work we do. And I'm just really thrilled that you agreed to interview me for this segment. Now, this is so exciting for me. A big part of my drag is activism and uh, and calling people to action. Now, if you want, now listen. As you guys know, uh, traveling is expensive, and especially relocating people for their entire lives. Some of these people are like, if you flee Chechnya or if you flee Jamaica, chances are you you don't you need a lot of money to do so. It costs about ten thousand dollars to help each person out. And every single dollar that is given to these organizations really helps out a lot. Can you please tell them how they can donate? Yeah, so you can go to rainbowrailroad.com and donate there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as, as you're saying, Bob, we, we, one of the great things that I'm uh, proud of for our work is the immediate impact it could have. Um, we have uh, been helping people out in Egypt who were facing a crackdown after a flag raise incident there. And I was able to interview people just uh, over a month ago in Egypt who were in hiding. Uh, and I remember interviewing one of those individuals who raised the rainbow flag at a concert and him getting jailed immediately afterwards and watching him uh, be able to find safety in March and his first pride a month later is just an example of the impact uh, the work of the work we do, but it's it's fueled because of supporters like yourself and people out there that decide to give. There's no government funding. There is it, it is all just like drag, honey. Every dollar we get is handed to us individually from people in the clubs and the bars, and this is your opportunity to individually hand money to help people uh, make their way to safety because it is everyone's right to feel safe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was. Really exciting for me to be here with you today um, because of all of the amazing, because uh, you're so talented and I, because I'm, I agree, I'm pretty talented. You're pretty talented. I'm pretty and talented. I'm a big, damn talented. I'm a big RuPaul's Drag Race fan, so I know there's folks at home kind of gagging at this right now, but um, I know that you're performing at Angels America here in Berkeley. I'm going to see it tonight, which Woo! is really exciting. Uh, but we also know it's the finale. Oh yes, Miss Day uh, is the finale. RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race, Race. and and I, I need you to spill the tea on who you who think, think is going to win. Okay, this is a tough one. I think after watching the whole season, their performances and how these girls turned it, I am going to say right now that I think it's going to be Eureka O'Hara. Yeah, I, I say Eureka has a really strong chance. I've got a sweet spot for Asia. Uh, so I'm also counting on her. Age is the secret look queen of the season. No one realized she was like everyone's. Yeah, Aquarius did some great looks. Still can't get over that Tweety Bird. That Tweety Bird. I love that big IKEA lampshade she had on her head. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she turns some look. Hey, wait, you guys, you guys get drag racing in Toronto? Of course, of course, we get drag racing in Toronto. <laughs> <I'm just guilty. laughs> and, and it's great that there's uh, there's there's drag viewings all over uh, across. North America. Uh, I also think Aquaria could be a dark horse. I know she has her fans too, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who you knows? know, I listen. I'm not. I'm. I'm not the queen anymore. I'm just. I'm just a citizen like you. I'm just a civilian <laughs> like you watching at home. Unless Sasha's watching, you're the fucking queen. Well, I. I don't know. It's so wonderful that you agreed to use your platform to oh. share a little bit about the work we do, uh, and hopefully people. Uh, 
like us on Facebook or go to RainbowRailroad.ca to learn more or follow us on Insta. Um, we're so thankful for this opportunity. And of course. I, go to RainbowRailroad.com. And also, there's going to be another exciting way that you can um, donate and get something back for yourself coming very soon. Stay tuned. Ooh, that's exciting. All right. Peace, guys. Mwah. Thank you. Oh, now it's ended. There we go.